Hello guys, this is Frenzo. In this video I'll show you how to export data from SQL Server into an Excel template. We'll be creating a SQL Server integration services package on Visual Studio. We'll use the Northwind database and inside that database the products table. We'll be creating an Excel template, product list Excel template. We'll be using SQL commands to create a query. And finally we'll export data from products table right into the products list template. In the description of this video, you will find links to download the Northwind database, the Excel template, and all the SQL commands used on this video. Right now, we are in the working area of the Visual Studio. We go right to the menu bar, click on Tools option, click on SQL Server, and choose New Query. The following window will help us to connect to the SQL Server instance. On the section Server Name, we write down the SQL Server instance and on the database name we choose the Northwind database this one right here click on it and click on connect as you can see I'm already connected to the Northwind database on this area we can start writing down SQL commands in this case I already got some SQL commands ready to use it this one right here will show us all the records from the products table. Click on it. As you can see, we got 10 columns and 78 rows. In this, in this demo, we won't be use all those 10 columns, only six of them. The next couple of SQL commands will show us the six columns. This one right here are are important because are the same that we got on our Excel template. As you can see, six columns, 78 rows. We go right to the Excel template, the same six columns right below these columns, these fields, all the records, all the data from the products table will be added. It's important to mention, this uh, Excel template must be saved as Excel 97 2003. The extension for uh, this Excel version is XLS. Click on it and we close this Excel template for a while. We'll get, we'll get right back to it in a moment. Right now we are in the control flow area. We drag a data flow task. Double click on it. Right now we are in the data flow area and we start setting the source, the connection manager for the, for the database and the table. We drag an OLEDB source, right click on it, click on edit, and we start setting the connection manager. Click on new, we are in the data connections, click on new. On the server name, we write down localhost. Localhost. On the section select or enter a database name, we choose the Northwind database. This one right here. Click on test connection. Everything is OK. Click on OK. Click on OK again. One more time on OK. On the data access mode, we choose the SQL commands. We go right back to these ones right here. And we'll be put it right here. We got the six columns and click on parse query to verify them. It's OK. On, the pre on this preview button, we can see all the records will be export, click on close, we can go right to columns section, all the columns, all the fields, it's OK. We already set up the connection manager for uh, the database and the table, we go right to the Excel destination, drag it, set the connection, choose the Excel destination, right click on it and click on edit. So we start setting the Excel connection manager, click on new, 
click on browse we got our Excel template product list click right here the Excel version uh, 97 2003 and this one this this one right here first row has column names must be selected click on ok on the name of the excel sheet which is this one right here click on mappings the mappings is ok click on ok and our package has been set up we go right to the solution explorer section on the package we can change the name of it right click on it rename it we will write down load products as a name for the package and set a data a data viewer for this one right here go back to solution explorer right click uh, on the name of the package and click on execute package the data viewer is showing us all the records 78 records the package has been run perfectly as you can see right click on it and now we get back to our excel template where we will see all the records has been transferred from the uh, products table to our Excel template. Click here. And as you can see, all the records, all the 78 records has been transferred to our Excel uh, template. That's it for today's edition. If you like this video, please uh, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.